Hey, hi friends, welcome back to Bahu Automation Lab once again. In this online video session, we'll try to learn how to automate send SMS functionality in any device using latest APM version. Okay, let's uh, go to the Eclipse and uh, start creating program for this. So we have already explained how to start APM server uh, programmatically and how to start a stop APM server programmatically. And in this test, uh, we have launched API demos app in our emulator and uh, we have done lots of functionality on that okay if you not watch previous version and the previous uh, videos uh, on this related to this lecture so you guys i recommended you to watch all the previous videos first and then come to here okay so this is the very interesting and tricky concept we have to we will uh, automate the things like uh, we'll send one sms on one particular mobile number okay using uh, a let us apm version okay so let's do this steps practically so I'll create a one package in this uh, Java. Uh, let's create a package first. So I'll go, go test section. So I'll go to the packages and I'll create one separate package for this send SMS class. So com dot apm dot let's say SMS. Okay, and uh, this is the package. So we have already learned this, right? And I have already explained in the very uh, easy and understandable way okay, how to start the apm server programmatically and how to launch the uh that particular apk using this uh, app package name and activity name okay so i'll and how to start this apm server after test before test how to start uh, apm server programmatically how to set up this uh, node exe path uh, node js path and a server path and, and server address and everything okay so i'll just copy this code okay and uh, I'll create a one class here, name as a Saint SMS. Saint SMS, okay. And uh, in this Saint SMS class, I'll just copy this start APM server code, okay. So I'm not going to explain it again and again because we have already explained these things, how to start APM server. And also I'll copy this stop APM server programmatically code as well, okay and uh, let's copy this test as well okay so here we have launched api demo app but uh, to send sms we require to to start uh, sms app right which is by default on every mobile phone okay this this app could be functionality wise different but the process what i am explaining you guys uh, all these are same okay so you if you uh, uh, watch this video till end uh, carefully you can automate any sms app easily so to launch any app in that particular device, we require this app package and this activity name, right? So how to find this app package and app activity name? I have already explained, but still I'm explaining you again, okay? So this is the uh, SMS app, which is default app in this device, and we require to automate this one, right? So first of all, let's uh, understand how to uh, find this app package name and act act app activity name for this sms default app so i'm just launching this this app in this um, emulator particular device uh, manually after that we have one command for that i'll share you this command in the um, description box as well you can copy from there as, and uh, you use it in your code as well so let's go to the cmd and first of all let's check which device is connected to your uh, connected uh, or is currently open okay so let's adb do the command adb devices okay, and it will show you us a list of devices which is uh, currently uh, in this uh, particular system so we have a uh, emulator 554 which is uh, current devices devices uh, in this phone uh, in this system which in uh, launch mode right so next time let's do this command uh, like adb shell and uh, this uh, my current focus which is find current focus app uh, we require to close all the apps from this uh, device if you are connected real device you have to close all the apps just open sms app only for whatever app you want to find the app package name and uh, activity name for that that app you just focus um, means you need to open that app in your device okay after that just hit enter and it will uh, return us this uh, particular value what do you mean of this value if we expand this so this is our app package name till this slash okay and after that whatever this com.google android app messaging 
this is our activity name okay so we require to copy this from here and we require and just paste it in uh, it on your notepad so i have already uh, pasted here like uh, this is the my app package name and this is my activity name okay so we need to pass this app package name and activity name here in this particular function we not required this like a text click and everything so i'll just remove out, remove it from this code okay and this is our driver so i'll just uh, copy this package name from here first of all and and paste it here on app package name section after that let's copy this activity name as well and uh, let's paste it in activity section okay now we, uh, in the previous videos we have we are launching like api demos app now we require to launch this app uh, sm saint sms app uh, using this app package name and activity name okay and we have already set up device name emulator and uh, no is it true uh, okay and uh, this one like uh, before test we have to start epm server programmatically after test we are required to stop epm server programmatically uh, which is running through this script right perfect so we have all set up and uh, let's run this code and see whether we are able to launch this AP, uh, app in our emulator device or not okay so i'll just right click on, on this program and run as test ng test in this console section will uh, we have will get starting apm server uh, programmatically so we'll get all the logs related to the apm server in this console section okay it's right uh, it's created same like if you, if you are using api uh, like ui apm server same logs will be generated here as well okay after starting a uh, started apm server it should be launch this uh, sms app in this device let's see whether we are able to do that or not Okay, whenever you run this first time, it will take some time. Yes, perfectly. Yes, we are able to launch this uh, SMS app uh, programmatically here. Okay, and APM server is stopped successfully. So one test pass and APM server stopped. Perfect. We have able to launch the APM, uh, this SMS server app in our device now we require to automate the things like we uh, what we have to do we require to start uh, click on this start chat first okay then let's say add one number here like manually i'm adding my number let's say okay this is my number so i need to add this number after that click on this okay then let's say uh what happened here uh, manually now we need required to do that everything programmatically okay so here we need to click on that then i let's say i need to type a message like uh, i let's say welcome to Wahoo automation lab okay and then after that we required to click on this sms button okay let's say click on this sms button Okay, if you are using real devices or everything, anything, uh, it will automatically sending the message as per the your network provider, right? It, this is the emulator here. We have not a, like uh, any service provider or anything, but still we are ab uh, able to automate the things. Uh, same way, uh, if you have a service provider or if you are, don't have a service provider, okay? So there may be the functionality is different in every sms app or the particular device okay as per their versions but the process is same okay if you follow this process you can just as per the your device you can uh, automate the things maybe some um, uh, flow change like uh, we need to click somewhere we need to click back or we need to send that just understand the flow what uh, exactly using in your uh, particular device and uh, according to that you you can send the sms okay so here we are sending the sms okay we have done these steps manually i'm just deleting this one okay because we have done created this manually right we required to do these steps automatically 
Perfect. So this is the star chat uh, button. We need to require to click on this first. Okay. So first of all, let's uh, take a XPath and uh, IDs, whatever you want. We can get it for this star chat button. So let's go to the uh, APM inspector first. Okay. So here we have already set up like this capabilities. We require to set up platform name as Android. This is a device name as an emulator. Okay, you can remove this one, set up like this. Okay, first, okay, and then set package name as this one, and this is the activity name. So this is SMS package name we have already set up here, SMS app, and this is our app activity name. So it's create a JSON for this, and it will launch uh, a, this SMS app in your device uh, programmatically, uh, automatically again, and you can um, inspect that element, particular element. So let's start this APM server first uh, because we re APM inspector required APM server, right? So we'll start this one. And uh, then after that, we'll click on the start session button. So it will launch again this APM uh, uh, in this device, this uh, SMS app again. And uh, we'll get the screenshot to inspect that element. Okay, it, it will take a time as per your system configurations. So let, let's wait for some time till it, it will ready to make a screenshot and uh, we'll able to inspect that elements. Okay, it's starting in uh, SMS app again. So this is the desired capabilities you can set up like a remote host and a remote path and everything. Um, and you can save it for your future use as well. But this is the all related to the practice sessions related for uh, how to automate the things like uh, default app and everything in the device. Uh, so you just practice it uh, by yourself. You will get the better idea on it. Yes, if SMS app is started and Evaluator. Okay, and uh, now it will be taking the screenshot of your page. Okay, let's refresh it. It will if it is not open in first time. Okay, it's not open. So let's refresh the page again. It, actually, it's taken a time in device so that. Uh, here also it's not coming faster but your system configuration is uh, high then it will immediately take effects yes perfect so here we have to inspect this element like um, start chat button right so let's inspect this element through the apm inspector so it's not Actually, it's not taken perfect screenshots. Let's go back. Device. Messaging homepage. Let's go back to the messaging homepage again. So this app is still loading, right? So I'll just remove it. From here message app is not properly loaded in the device that the reason we are not able to inspect it here again so let's open it again. Okay, now it's perfectly loaded. So let's take a screenshot now. Let's refresh this button. Yeah, perfectly we are able to, <clears throat> now we are able to inspect this button, start button. Perfect. And here we have found a directly XPath in through the EPM inspector itself. So not required to create XPath by manually. I have already explained how to create XPath. So let's check that XPath is correct or not. 
So go to the inspector section and let's test it. Perfect. This is the XPath. Perfect XPath. Let's tap on that element so that we are able to check that this is correct or not. Okay. Yes, correct. We are able to click on that start chat button. Right. So let's go back and copy this XPath from here and just implement it in our code. Right. So after third dot slip, let's say I just define some wait for some time because this application working uh, device working very slow. So driver dot manage. Let's say timeouts dot implicit wait. Let's say we are using latest version, so duration of of seconds and uh, let's say we'll give 45 seconds okay and up after that let's say i add this command driver dot uh, find element and now we have just copied x path so by x path and list paste it there. So I'll just remove this double inverted comma and let's maintain it in single inverted comma itself. And uh, let's click on that element. Okay, perfect. So first element we are able to click perfectly. Now we require to inspect this element and uh, we require to create the XPath for that uh, because we need to send a mobile number on that particular field, right? So let's replace this page again. So second step is okay, we need to find this mobile number section, right? Perfect. And uh, here we have resource ID. Here we have resource ID, but XPath is not in proper fashion, right? So let's create an XPath by our own. So how to create an XPath in, uh, using APM Inspector? So let's go here. And uh, let's type like a double slash, let's say star in bracket at the rate, let's say we have a resource ID, right? So let's copy this resource ID from here. And uh, let's say resource ID is equal to, let's say copy this one, this is our resource ID. You can create an XPath uh, using any any of the this uh, attributes and value. Okay, so we have a resource ID, so we'll create it on that. So this is our XPath we have created. Let's check whether we are correct corrected XPath created or not. Let's search on this, and it's perfectly we have created successful XPath. We can send the mobile number here as well, and check whether we are this is working fine or not. Let's say and uh, let's send key. Click on send key. It should be send the mobile number here and device as well. Yes, it's perfectly centered here, right? So this is our XPath is correct. Now let's uh, go back and implement this code in your, uh, our code, right? So let's say driver dot find element by dot XPath, which is we are created now. And let's, we need to send key some here, right? So send key and uh, we'll send mobile number here. 9802381 right so this is our mobile number so we have sent it mobile number perfectly okay after that we require to click on this create group section okay so let's inspect this element create group okay here also we have not proper xpath but we have lots of uh, attributes and values here like okay text and everything so let's create XPath using text now. Okay, we have XPath here. Let's move out this resource ID here and create XPath using text. Create group is the text. And let's search it. 
yes perfect we are able to find this element as well let's tap on it perfectly we can tap on that element yes create group nice and let's copy this x path here again and now we required to do the click statement so driver dot find element find element and let's say by dot x path again and let's paste this, that x path inside the double inverted comma and let's say dot click perfect we need to do the click now we require to click on this next button okay to send sms let's inspect that button as well so refresh this page actually it's not taken screenshots here if your device or emulator is slow or your system is a little slow then you can uh, use this refresh button to take a um, latest page okay just copy this x path for this next button as well here again text is uh, next just copy this text and click on this right so i'm just copying this code again because we need to just change the text and just call control x on this and here in the create book group section let's test it perfect now after click on this next button uh, let's say our x path is correct or not okay let's copy this x path from here again and just paste it here search for the x path we require to test this every time because uh, if your script get fail in middle of the something and your x path is wrong we require to again that inspect every element and everything so it's a better idea to test our x path or, or the society whatever you are doing it's perfectly showing here then only it's you can implement that on your test okay so we are able to click on text button perfectly uh, next button uh, this next uh, button and uh, using this x path right after that what we need to do we need to send some text uh, in the text field sms field right and after that we need to click on the send sms button so let's inspect this text field okay here also we have resource id perfectly and we have created already uh, export uh, for the resource id same resource id okay so i'll just copy here uh, and I just change this resource id from here to here okay and change this message as well so i'll just type here like a hi welcome to bahu automation lab perfect so this is the resource id let's check whether we are able to create a perfect text path or not okay so test it here perfect we are able to find the element same way i will just send here like a hi it should be sent higher right perfectly we can able to send higher after that we need to click on this send button sms button right so let's copy the x path for this one as this is also something this was id right so I'll just copy this code again and now we'll just need to click on that element. Okay, we're not doing same keys and everything. Dot click. Perfect, just change the resource ID for that, that particular element, SMS icon. So I'll just copy this one and paste it here. So we need to send the SMS. Perfect. So let's check whether our uh, X path is correct or not. Go to the X path search again and just type here that X path. Let's search it. Yes, perfectly. We find the element and let's tap on it. Perfect. So we are able to send the SMS. Yes, it's sending high. Perfect. So this is how we can uh, 
find the elements and everything for our script is now uh, fully ready to send sms using uh, this sms app in this uh, particular device so i'll just remove this previous uh, test or previous sms we have created for the inspecting element purpose okay so now it's removed okay and uh, what we have done till time let's revise this it uh, again in a smaller way like we have launched apm server programmatically then we have set up desire capability to launch sms app and this activity uh, using this app package and app activity name we have say uh, launch uh, our sms app in this particular emulator and through hub we have set up everything okay and then now we have we are able to uh, find the element using apm inspector to click on start chat and uh, send send a mobile number and uh, create a group and next click next and uh, send sms and click on send sms app uh, button okay and after that we'll stop uh, apm server programmatically so this is our code to launch apm uh, sms app in your device so we'll just stopping this to uh, run our script so let's run this code and see whether we are able to send sms programmatically or uh, uh, through this uh, latest apm version uh, programmatically or not okay so i'm running this test as a uh, test engine test okay first of all it should be start the apm server programmatically after that it should launch uh, our uh, sms app in this particular device and it should be clicked um, as per our step we are defined in defined in our uh, test this particular test right and it should be sent sms on this given particular mobile number Okay, it's launching uh, APM uh, SMS app in our device. So extra agree window is coming there. So we're just clicking on that. Then now it's start on chat. It's perfectly, it's click, click on that start icon. And now it should be seen the mobile number there. Yes, perfect. It should be click on its create group button, right? After that, should be click on next button. Perfect. It's perfectly click. It should be sent a text message now. This is our main goal. Yes, it's typing successfully, and it should be click on send SMS button. Perfect. Our test is per successfully passed, and it's sending message here right so this is how we can automate our uh, sms default app in our mobile devices okay so practice by yourself maybe the, there is a different different type of more sms app in our device uh, as per our device but the but the flow and functionality is same okay so this is how to automate the sms app okay guys? if you have any question related to this uh, concept you can just text out me or the comment out me i'll give the answer related to this okay uh till time uh don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Automation Lab and uh, share to your friends so they can also learn the, all the things practically. Okay, so let's meet in next chapter with uh, more interesting concept. Till time, have a great day. Bye bye. Take care.